In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for magnesium chloride, MgCl2. So the first thing we need to realize is that this is an ionic compound. We have Mg, that's a metal, and we have chlorines. Those are nonmetals. So metals, nonmetals, that means it's ionic. And when it's ionic, we're going to transfer electrons from the metal here to the nonmetal. So we write Mg, and Mg normally has two valence electrons. It's in group two on the periodic table. It's going to transfer those two valence electrons to the chlorine atoms. So when it does that, it's lost two negative charges. It becomes more positive. So it becomes two plus. So what we could do now to make this the correct Lewis structure is put brackets around the Mg. So and that's the first part of our Lewis structure. We have our metal here. Now we need to do the Lewis structure for the chlorine. We have two of them. Chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So let's put a chlorine right here, and then let's put seven valence electrons around it. And we said that magnesium normally has two valence electrons. Well, it transfers one of those to the chlorine, so it has eight, an octet. So it has a full outer shell, and because it has an extra electron, this chlorine now has a negative charge. And then again, let's put brackets around it. Since we have two chlorine atoms, let's just copy this one and then stick it on the other side. And that gives us our final Lewis structure for MgCl2, magnesium chloride. So note that now this magnesium, it has plus two charge and these negative charges on the chlorines, those are attracted. So the negatives are attracted to the positives and that's why the chlorines are bonded with the magnesium and magnesium chloride here. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for MGCL2. Thanks for watching.